Welcome to some sheer joy. Today's episode is brought to you by Gray Block Pizza. Gray Block Pizza, 1811 Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles. Gray Block, get that hitter. Some people say he's a, an arch rival, a nemesis or a nemesis, they say. Some people say that he is a myth. But do myths show up in the form of man? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I'll say this for 150% that we have a, a, a young man in today, uh, fresh off this documentary about his shoulders is popping off. You know, we have a cult leader. We have a film, television, Instagram, Vine um, star phenom this guy is the i mean he's the will smith of vine this guy is a um haberdasher with his new babies line this guy is the new warren jeffs to a lot of people he's a comedian he's a podcaster i'm getting tired of introducing him ladies and gentlemen uh but, uh, from the Congratulations pod, which I recommend you listen to if you want to get really dented, Mr. Chris D'Elia. Are you bigger there than you are in America? I think I might be an Australian comedian. <laughs> you know, like. Are you? Are you? Uh, uh, what's his name? Arch uh, Barker. I know. Yeah. Uh, Arch Barker sounds also like someone vomited. I feel like the, the the name. Yeah. Just saying, Arch Barker. One time I was in Montreal and I was like coming up and I felt like all oh, people were starting to know my name, and Arch Barker came down to the lobby and he was like, "Are you my driver?" No. Yeah, and I was like, "Ah, oh, okay, <laughs> all right." Okay. Okay. I'm on new faces. Yeah. I was like, no, no, this wasn't even, this was after that. I had like a fucking, and I was like, nah, I'm a, uh, I'm a comedian. And I laughed and he was like, oh shit. Okay. And then, and then the next, like two years later, I saw Arch Barker. He was at Starbucks and he saw me. He was like, hey, hey, Chris. And I was like, ah, redemption. Uh, Got to drive. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm parallel parked out front. <laughs> um, dude, you look big. You look older. You look. I know. You I look know. different, I feel like. Are you I doing know. anything different? Mm. So, I yeah, got... What are you doing? I like, got, what are you doing like, to kind of t- t- you, t- t- take care of yourself? Do you? Well, I work out a lot. You do? Yeah. Um, and because, like, I get, I get bored on the road. But then also, I just was like, I want to do action movies. Yeah. Like, like so, like, I'm like, if I'm going to do that, I have to actually do actual work. You have to look the part. Yeah. Do so... You, so I started working out really fucking hard. Are you doing unique types of training? Because you seem like somebody that doesn't do... I see you in some of your videos. I see you... You know, I know that they had the shoulder documentary thing that yeah. people were, you know, that they're, they're pitching outside, and yeah. stuff. And I know... The shoulders are outside right now? No, the the, docu- the guy, the crew. I, oh, I, they are? I try to speed away, but they're fucking good drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy, they, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's um, the traparazzi, too. They're trying to get pictures of people's traps. Right. <laughs> And but are you doing any like a unique training? I see you doing like American Ninja Warriors stuff. When I think of you and get jealous a little, some really? of the jealous thoughts I have are of you swinging off and so of the, different. The stuff. thoughts of me, the jealous thoughts of me are all about me being active. I like that a lot. Yeah, now they are since you told me you wanted yeah. to be an action uh-huh. hero. Right. So so you've had those jealous thoughts for about thirty five seconds. Yeah. No, but, I've had them for probably six or seven uh, years. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Like I get. Like the this first of all, like this the movies that I am being considered for are like movies, TV are like all like comedy, silly. You know, I'm either a young dad or, or I'm like I've just done. They're 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 only going to offer you stuff that you've kind of already done, right? Because they can see you doing that. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? Is that nearsighted by the industry? Well, it's just safe, you know, and and I don't blame them because they know. They know, you know, take take an action movie star. They're going to get offered action movie stuff, right? You know? They're not going to, um, 
They're not going to, you know, it might be a little bit out of the box to be like, well, can he do a romantic comedy? I don't know. Let's see him do, let's see him act, let's see him audition or whatever. Like, will but people for, believe it? Yeah, exactly. But for, so for me, like, the, but I don't want to do this stuff. Like, if I'm going to do a comedy, the best comedy for us that we're going to do is our stand up. Right. Because it's exactly what we're going to do. Right. You know? Yeah, it is interesting. You start yeah. thinking sometimes, oh, well, I got to fit in this role as a, as a, in a, in a, in a, in a sketch yeah. or in a <laughs> series. Like oh well, I'm already doing my whole series. I know in a show, and you're and you're also you're also if you're going to do a movie or a TV show, you're going to take a pay cut because yeah. you make more money doing stand up. So if I'm going to take a pay cut, I want to do some shit I want to do, and to me, it would be awesome to do action or something hilarious like that. I could see you doing it in like a Deadpool, but sort of like in uh, maybe like right outside of like I don't want to say Oklahoma City, but maybe like Missouri. I could do a dead like Deadpool, uh, Kansas City, Kansas City. Like how they do the CSI in all the different areas, but they do one for they do the Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool Kansas City. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I could see you also being a really unique villain in like a like a dark yeah. city, like a Gotham. Yeah, or not? I, I definitely have the eyebrows for that. Yeah, but also I'm going. I, I think I think what you're saying I look different because I get I get a little I got a little gray in last year. Oh, is that what it is? I think so. You do seem yeah. older or mm -hmm. more confident maybe to me you've always seemed confident though so you couldn't seem more confident than you had do you ever grow this out because no. you probably have some gray huh yeah yeah i yeah, get gray yeah. wow. I, it's very scary i have great chest hair too oh wow and somebody See, saw it the other day on a video and it was like 70 yeah. people said something and it yeah, yeah, hurt my, yeah 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 it first it hurt my feelings then it reminded me of my grandfather well and that's kind of not bittersweet but also uh to have 70 people talking about your fucking gray chest hair that means you made it yeah. If you have 70 people talking about your gray chest here, you made it. Yeah. Yeah. But you're, we're the same age. Right? Yeah. No, you are a couple months younger than me. I'm well, 39. But that's, we, we would say same age in, yeah. the, in life. Yeah, you would, you wouldn't be like, no, I'm a few months older than you, because that would be so weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Like, we're both 39. You wouldn't be like, no, we're not the same age. My birthday's first. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll tell them how old you really are. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a couple of days earlier. Yeah. Man, oh, yeah. That's like asking. If, if somebody told me, by the way, we lie, you're 45, I'd be like, that makes a lot of sense. Oh. <laughs> you know? Like your family surprised Dude, you at dinner. you could be 50. <laughs> you could be 50. No. Uh, no? What do no. you think? Your real age. What's your real age, bro? Come on. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about, I know your real age is 39. 39 is tops for me. I think yeah. I'm running under. I think I'm running at 37 You think that's of your brain half. or your body, though? Uh, Both? Ooh, I don't know. My Maybe body's your starting brain. To fade. That's what I'm saying. If somebody told me, by the way, you're 43, <laughs> I'd be like, uh, you know what, what I'd be like? You know that meme, that Weebay meme in the wire where he's like, oh, uh -huh. yeah. that's what I would do. Oh. That's the fuck. Dude, if my dad was like, we lied to you. You were born in 1976. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, I would be like, okay. Uh, now it makes sense. But I'm glad you I'm glad you lied. I would actually be happy that my parents lied. Would you be upset at them or no? Really though, if they're like Chris, nah, you're 43. If they had a good reason, if they were like, yo, the reason is because we didn't want you to feel like if in case it, we wanted you to feel like everything you got in life, you got it, you got it, you know, not too old. You know uh. what I'm saying? Because like I'm right now I'm 39 and I feel very accomplished for a 39 year old. Right. But for a 45 year old, I feel accomplished, but not very accomplished. What is the next what's that next level you think owning a tank? Nah, well, I'll tell you what, dude. Um, if I had, I could see you getting if, a tank. If I had like, I mean, it's because here's the thing that, but first of all, you, you can't keep a tank in LA, right? So, so you not only do you need the money for the tank, you need the money for fucking to transport the tanker to wherever. Have okay, the tank, you have to you know get the tank. Saying? You have to get it airlifted yeah. in. I would say I would keep. Uh, you know, you could probably keep it. You could probably keep it somewhere fucking shitty like Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah. You could probably keep it in Albuquerque. Yeah. yeah. They would yeah. actually probably love it if I kept a tank there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, Chris Lee keeps a tank. Yeah, yeah. you know, Albuquerque, the Albuquerque would literally be like, you know, uh, Albuquerque is great because we have, you know, whatever the crops they have. And then also Chris Lee keeps his tank here. Yeah, spices. They have spices, yeah. I think. Yeah, they probably do because it's close Unique to the peppers. South. Oh, I remember on the news, that lady got mad at you on the news in uh, yeah. New Mexico mm -hmm. or wherever. Yep, yep. And you made the news, bro. Did that blow your mind a so, little? So, yeah. That was like one of the fucking... Like, like, you know what is cool about like a career is like all the stuff that you do like in the career, like you're like, okay, I want to do a stand-up special. And that's all the best shit. I want to be on a TV show. I want to fucking, you know, and I did all that. I did the, uh, you know, Undateable. I did Whitney. I did the, the specials come out every few years. And it's like- You did the that, roast too. I remember yeah, when the you did the roast. You, roast, you know, really, the things really cool. like that. You're like, you know what? These are the goals. These are the things that I want to do. Yeah. And not that they're, ex 
expected, but you expect them to happen if you work very hard, right? Like the things like that though, or like the things that come up, like, you know, the the Eminem thing, you know, like oh, where, yeah. like that shit and the Albuquerque news, that shit is the shit that's like, wow, really, really special and really funny because you don't expect it to happen, but it's like the perks. Yeah. Yeah, they got fucking, they blasted me, and then I talked about it again, and then I made another segment no, on they Albuquerque. Did? Yeah, they did it twice. And did they, because uh, it seemed like some people came to, to your defense, but did they, uh, did you guys reconcile it at a certain point or no? No. <laughs> Damn, so you would say you have active beef with? Yeah, I, will, I have active beef with Albuquerque, and I'll tell you what. I'll never squash that beef. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll never squash that beef until I'm thir- until I'm 46 in a Ooh. year. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but so. I'm 39. Let's not actually make people actually thinking because they just tuned in that I am 36. 46. Um, no, but uh, yeah, and I actually may be spending a fucking quite some time in Albuquerque soon. Yeah, uh, because I might, I might. No, might be I'm, I'm being a movie? serious. Yeah, I might be actually shooting a movie in, in Albuquerque. And which is, is it hilarious. somebody now? This is a rumor that I also heard is, that it's Breaking Bad the movie. Yeah, it's Breaking Bad the movie. No, they are doing Breaking Bad the movie, but it's not that. It's not that. No, I'm not going to be. You, you so far, I'm not, not going to be in that. You I, promise, I promise it's, not? it's not that. Yeah. Do you? Are you a legit? Are you someone who promises we can trust or not trust? You can promise. If I tell you what, I would. I have never. I have never. My track record is. I have never lied about Breaking Bad so far. Wow. Okay. And and I'll keep that up. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's nice you guys have a fucking plant here. By the way, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh wow. This is rock bottom. No, nah, but it's cool because I think I did one of the first episodes of your old yeah. studio, and this is the first one. This is the first of the, one of the new one. Yeah. It's crazy, That's man. Cool. Yeah, yeah so we're out here. You're going to do like a wall? I don't know what we're going to do. You know the guy who did the cartoons though, of all yeah. the different uh-huh. podcast people? Mm-hmm. We're thinking about getting that all around the wall in oh, there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, in there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But nobody would see that, right? Right. It would just be for when people came in. We're going to yeah. get like a ping pong table cool. maybe in there and cool. like some places where... It's crazy though. This is now fucking also so far for me. Like you guys only have like get a place in the fucking place. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's we're, right. You're huh? in the thick of it, but you're not... You're in the thick of it. When we do stand up and all that shit, you're in the comedy store, and then your fucking his first shit was in Marina Del Rey or wherever yeah. the fuck it was, and then the next shit is all the way over fucking here. I don't even know where we are. Yeah, there's where golf is near here. I know that Encino. There was a golf course near here. Yeah, I don't want to say the exact location, you know. And they caught a serial killer not far from here too. Wow. And Pauly Shore did a movie here. That's yeah. right, he did. Encino no, Man. no, but the Encino is actually. This is Encino. The is this actually. The movie. This, this is where, where the he movie did it. Was this is where it was? This is where they shot it. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. And you know, man. Um, wow. Yeah, dude. And also, you get to also work on the mic because Gianni Paolo, our former guest from last week, is here, mm-hmm. and so he's now back on the Instagram. I said, "Oh, you guys got Gianni Paolo? Oh, yeah, yeah you you saw that? On me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I laughed at it. Yeah. Well, you, know. well, you had to laugh, Gianni. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still working here. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, oh, but wow, you guys, you guys got good shoes too, though. The two of you. But what's up? You always wear. You've been wearing those shoes. They do. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, do but a you've lot been of, wearing. You wear K Swiss. Yeah, you, you've been wearing. I don't do shoes. a lot of fancy footwear. Yeah, but that's where you could really spice it up. But you spice it up in other ways. Like you got the Houston jersey on. Yeah, and a goatee. Somebody I mean, made me this Rat King. Oh wow, that's really cool. That's so, fucking awesome. Um. But yeah. You, yeah. So you can't really wear this. crazy shoes if you have a. And goatee. I do the goatee. Would you ever do yeah. a goatee? No, never in my life. Oh, I would never on. do it. Come on, and you know that. So don't even disrespect by asking me that question. Yeah, you know, you know what, you know what, <laughs> that question. If I was in a different mood, could start a fucking war. Yeah, yeah. no, but it's not because you know we, we love each other. But like, that, I would never have a goatee, and you know it. I would look ho- I would look horrible in a goatee. No, you wouldn't. I would, and that's what I used to think. And yeah. I'm not. No, sure you if look. I did. It fits you. Yeah. Well, you got a fucking mullet too, though. Yeah, it's like well, fits. it's like long hair. I mean, your hair is almost a mullet if you cut the sides. And the yeah, only difference between you and me is a little bit of this. Yeah, it would be a mullet. You know, if I cut the sides. Mm. but here's you could do i almost see you the being one of those guys who does very your your sideburns a half inch away from doing magic you know that yeah i, know <laughs> Definitely. That. I do know that uh, you're not telling me anything i don't know about that you know that yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. as a matter of fact I, I, inch I, away I, I gotta tell magic. you dude i try to shorten it up and i got the fucking thing and i try to make it sh- shorter and shorter and i just i always think i always think when i do it i did it fucking two days ago i think i was like there we go it's shorter and then out in the day i'm like driving i see myself in the thing i'm like it still looks like a fucking goddamn you know almost a magician i don't like that yeah but i'll never you know what it's just like you just got to shake hands with who you are sometimes yeah yeah and i'm almost a magician what are some things about you if you had to change something honestly you had to change something about crystalia you're like oh this has to go calf what power calf power i would have calf power yeah you don't have any have, yeah no i have no calf power Oh my god! I have I no don't calf have power. Any? You don't have any? No, dude. If I even look up for a high book on a shelf, I fucking get yeah. You're tired, right? You got to get yeah. a water, dude. Yeah. Dude, I have no calf power, 
and I love working out. And when it comes to calf, I just, I guess I just go, you know what? Fucking, I guess forget it, dude. You just leave at the end and don't yeah. do them. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I save them for the end and then I don't do them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I end the workout early. Dude, my mom, my mom would always be like, when, when I was a kid, she would, this is the same kind of shit. She would be like, what kind of homework do you have? And I would be like, oh, I got English. I got math. I got fucking social studies. I got this. And she'd be like, okay, cool. And then like three, and then like five o'clock would roll around and she'd be like, you should get started on your homework. And I'd be like, you know what? I fucking talk to my the math thing isn't due until fucking Tuesday, so I don't have to do that tonight. And then it turns out social studies was a lot less than I thought it was. And she'd be like, "Oh, really?" I'd be like, "Yeah, okay." And then nine o'clock, and she'd be like, "Did you do your homework?" I'd be like, "No, but it's actually okay." And she'd be like, "What?" And I would just would never do my homework. That's what that's what calf exercises is like. I would never do, dude. I fucking wish I. That's so true. I tell you what, man. I can really. You, you, you to did that. this shit, dude. Yeah. I tell you what, I wish. You know how they always say, like, kids, do your homework, stay in school? I wish I didn't do more homework. Yeah. I wish I did less homework. Really? Yeah, dude. We do dick jokes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't need to, to do know about fucking imaginary numbers. I didn't have to do any of that work. Dude, when I, when I did math, okay, when I was in math and I was not doing well in math. Where'd you sit in the classroom? Uh the back until they made me sit oh, in the front. Oh, you sat in the and back? They made me sit in the front. Oh, that kid? Because they were like, yeah. Oh, there was always yeah. a kid that they moved yeah, up exactly. halfway through. Like you thought the back was the worst yeah. until you got to the front. It was like they lapped you with the front. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. could sit in the front and be like, oh, the back is the shit. And they're like, no, 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 no. Get back in the front. I was like, these motherfuckers, I'm lapping these people. That's how bad I am. So, but then didn't all your friends in the back look so dumb? Then once you got to the front, you did, looked yeah. back and you're they like, did. "Oh, those they kids did. are dumb they as did. fuck." They did, and and, and 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 yeah, and they, you were even dumber, but they could only see your back, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they can see your face. Um, yeah, so I, so I would do math, and then, and then I got like uh to a, a ma like we got to imaginary numbers, and I was like, if you're just gonna make this shit up from now on, I'll fail, and I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like fucking go. Fuck your, where's the camera? Go fuck yourself with your imaginary numbers. Yeah. And that's common core, man. When I was growing up, they had, yeah, it got all kind of crazy. Carry the one. I'm like, oh, this shit, it sounds no. like a fire hazard. Like no. things got real vague and things were, <laughs> yeah. uh, it sounded like somebody was getting abducted. Remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Carry the one. I'm like, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm not into that. Yeah, I'm like, I, I, in I go, I go digit, I go single digits. And if you want, I could go a little bit of double digits and then that's it, dude. Yeah. When you get into hundreds and carrying shit and ex exponents, yeah. right? Fuck out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> what am I, a scientist? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what am I, a fucking burn victim, dude? You think I want to know how all these chemicals work? I'm just like, dude, you want me to do this? I'm like, Chernobyl exploded anyway, <laughs> and I don't have anything. Like, you got guys who do that shit. Uh, me? Fuck out of here, dude. That's true. What are we going to do with that information, man? Yeah. Do you remember learning about how, like, a neighborhood worked? Remember that? Where the postman should go in the neighborhood to be that the was, most effective? That, so we, yeah, so we never learned that, yeah. uh, my, my town. We never learned that. Uh, and I don't think that that's a class. But you you maybe, may, you, you maybe learned that. That would be amazing if there was a class on how a neighborhood worked. You know what, dude? There should be a fucking class on how, because here's the thing. There should be, these, are, these should be the classes. Okay. For real. Okay, let Fuck me hear math, some of them. get out. English, a little bit up to, like, like fourth grade yeah and then high school no you don't need english in high school you don't need english in high school yeah if you're here's the if, thing if you don't know english how do you even get to if high you're school? in eighth grade and you don't know how to talk <laughs> you have to you have to join the army <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically yeah, yeah. right because like you know and you're front line you understand oh, yeah, you're, yeah. you're not the guy in the back no. by the way army that, that, that's it's opposite of a classroom. Yeah, it's opposite. Yeah, you're dumb as fuck. You're in the front. You know, they're all the lapped motherfuckers. Right? Oh, you're catching bullets. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're the they guy. They teach you how to catch bullets with your heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Or a head, yeah. head or heart. Johnny caught it in the shoulder. Not good enough. Not good enough. Um. So okay. So that's two of the classes. So in. That, 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 they're English gone. is out. English is out. Right. Social studies, by the way. That's where you learned about the neighborhood. What is it? Yeah. But but it's not, though. Do you understand? It's you neighborhood. More it's about, what statues are. Right, 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 right. So this is what it should be. Actually, for real, how a city or neighborhood works. Okay. Okay? That should be class. And we call that what? Just basically street beats. <laughs> ah! All right, cool. I like that. It's a good class name. Also, if the class names were hip. <laughs> yeah. If the class names were hip like that, I would yeah. be in it, man. Yes, sir. I'd take street beats, boy. Yep. Street beats, AP, AP street beats. Yeah, yep. yeah, AP mm -hmm. street yep. beats, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Yep. Yeah, Larry got a tattoo. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, why did Larry get a tattoo? <laughs> right, yeah. So uh, today we're learning class why Larry got a tattoo, and I'm in the I'm in the front, right? Is it because his name is Larry? 
all guys named Larry have a tattoo. If you ever met a guy who's named Larry and doesn't have a tattoo and he's not in the Three Stooges, you haven't met a Larry, I'll tell you that much. So, um, so... So, so you got street beats. So street beats. Um, Swimming, huh? Mm, depends, really. Not not in Indiana, you right? Know, but in LA, yes. Yeah. In and, the beach, yeah, you beaching. Know what I mean, West Coast, East Coast. You know, being a beach guy. Yeah, beach guy. Um, maybe like up near, you know, some some fucking city west of Portland. You might learn that body style, or like, yeah. Let me think. Uh, um, uh, you learn. You know what you you know what's a good what a good class would be like to learn who an alpha is like you have to understand who the alphas are and we call the class peck the pecking order or okay something. yeah, yeah pecking order like you don't po to, they call yeah, it for okay sure. yeah I would, who, do you, who do you have for po yeah yeah <laughs> and it would be like this real fucking either you would have teachers that were like real alpha or mm -hmm. these real beta motherfuckers that yeah. were like look i understand who i am um and it's okay if this is who you are but you need to know who you are and if an alpha walks in the room you kind of look at them <laughs> yeah. like you know what i mean like, yeah, just water the plants again. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. How do you look at, how you offer him a lollipop or whatever the fuck it is. Like, who, you know, you understand, you know, not class. Right, peck in order. Yeah. It would be like, Greg, stand up, show us how you look at an alpha. And he'll be like, yeah. because I'm a beta? Yes. And then Greg goes like this, and you're like, A plus. Oh, yeah. yeah. A plus, Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just keep hanging the Christmas ornaments, Greg. Right. He'll right. be over right. there under the mistletoe. He'll be over there under the mistletoe. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I think how to behave at functions is another one, That's maybe. That's a good one function yeah. behavior that could probably be in po yeah it could be being po yeah it could be like a because alpha second year yeah because alphas behave differently than betas in oh it's different in, in a, alphas will know. leave a place early um, mm -hmm. kind of to go do something better even and though they're not late. doing anything and get there late yeah, yeah. the alphas are only in places for like 25 minutes yeah sometimes they yeah. barely even show up they get there late and they left early yeah would you say you're an alpha me yeah no i think i'm more really? of a more of a beta probably. really i'm like one of those chinese fighting fish i think what are those betas <laughs> Yeah. But I think they have their own alpha beta shit going on. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, they're suicidal, some of them. Yeah. But they, you, they only think they're killing themselves. Because a lot of them think it's a mirror and they're killing themselves. Mm. That's why they do that. That's so fucking interesting. You know what? You came to a dinner once and you came late and left early. Remember that dinner? Oh, yeah, I did. So you might be an alpha. <laughs> yeah, because you guys, first of all, it was a dinner in the dark outside Well, but that's restaurant. what a fucking... That's what a nice place is. <laughs> it's crazy. You, you don't go to a fucking bright place for dinner, dude. What are you fucking, you know, you make some money. You got to go fucking dim the lights, bro. I make <laughs> dude, money. No. Yeah. I want to see what no, I'm making, bro. dude. That's why, because you're, you're pouring your heart. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you're pouring in your heart. You got to let that go. That's true, man. You are pouring your heart. You know I really that. am, yeah, man. Yeah, it's okay. But, but that's okay, though. That's why people like you, bro. That's yeah. one of the reasons why people like you. That's why I like you. It's one of the reasons why I like you. Yeah? Yeah. We were very different, but we also like we vibe off each other and i'll tell you too what was i going to say um oh yeah you thought you'd be all alpha by coming late and leaving early yeah i paid for your meal <laughs> did you really yeah i did i paid for your meal so you're not gonna out alpha me bro wow, yeah i was bro. like what am i gonna do and i took what we should have learned in school and i was like mm -mm -mm. it was like that meme with the fucking uh who's the guy zach Alphanakis. yeah zach alfanakis doing all the math and i was like pay for it i was like i got <laughs> bye bye i got it and i'll pay for it and they all went oh they did the wee baby that's oh. a pecking order yeah dude are you starting to live through memes you think i don't know i did two meme jokes and i think that's probably it <laughs> really? i think that's probably it for the day probably <laughs> yeah i thought about that when i said that i was like ah too many meme jokes but what um is what it is how is, you know, they recently, they, this guy was on trial for that Nexium cult. And so I want to see, do you see that mm. kind of stuff in fear where the babies and you guys could mm. all end up? So what, what what's he in trouble for? I haven't heard about this. He's in trouble, I think, for sex trafficking mm. and also really? also produce crossing state lines. They did some other thing. Really? Where they Yeah, they, they're getting him for everything. I mean, once you go down for sex trafficking, they throw in this fucking, you know, they throw mm. the sink out with the strawberries, like they got you, know? you for taxes, too. Yeah. Um, so I... Uh, Do you worry about things devolving there? No, the only thing I worry about is, uh, you know, the the people taking it for what it's not, for like, making it different than what it actually is. We live the hedonistic lifestyle. It's about fucking and sucking. Yeah. And we hang out, dude. Oh, yeah. But nobody fucks and sucks if you don't want to. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, right, right. It's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a mutual thing. Right, <laughs> right. right. Yeah, not, yeah, dude. It's not people surprised. No, 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 no. Like, yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. Because I saw, yeah, I saw a good bit of dent uh, merch at, uh, at at a lot of my shows. People wear to fuck yeah. with me. But, yeah, but see, that's, to see, it's all love. Yeah. That, that's the thing. It's all love. Right, but when you got people like people coming on my shit, fuck you, you're not funny at, like Theo Vaughn. They don't yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't understand, bro. 
this is all love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's fun. It's like yeah. It's like Game of Throw rugs. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're going to, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not Game of Thrones. No. Yeah. I'm on like, season three, too. Don't give me any spoilers. I'm on season five. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Are so you I really? Even, yeah. I oh, even, my yeah. God. How are we not doing a recap show? I don't know. You know. How are we not doing a fucking recap yeah. show, Because it's not man. Tiger Belly, because that's basically what 90 <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's all they talk about? Really? I oh, they're know. running out of things to talk about, dude. <laughs> you know? Once they once Bobby couldn't get erections anymore, they've <laughs> totally struggled with some things to talk about over there. Yeah. They've almost got that uh, Filipino kid. They've almost got him. He's almost full-time now. Oh, wow. Imagine Bobby, imagine Bobby for real, like someone was like, I'm going to kill your family if you don't... Uh, if you don't actually do an, a real style performance singing and actually try and take it seriously. Yeah. He, he, his whole family would die. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no <laughs> way in hell, there's no way in hell Bobby could get out in, into a, 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 like a 2000 seater uh -uh. and perform for real like Frank Sinatra songs <laughs> yeah. without thinking about maybe being funny and then pushing it a little bit. Yeah. And then they would just literally slice his family's oh. heads all off like that. Oh. Bro. And I'll tell you what, you couldn't either. You don't think? I don't think. I think you could take it seriously. God damn, that's even funnier. That's a good question. Even imagine you, imagine you singing in front of 2,000 people, I killing it. Than an eagle. Yeah. You, I think, honestly, you could do it. Because you are the wind beneath But it would be so bad. Wings. It would be so bad. And here's the part, though. It would start to be so bad, and you would know it's bad. Yeah. You would want to start to vibe on how bad it is, and you couldn't. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. The comic in us, yeah. Yes, the comic in you. Yeah. But Bobby, not a chance. Man. No, no. Bobby he, would die immediately. Bobby oh. would be like, Bobby would be like, Ooh, like what's, yeah, what's the song? Like, Bobby had a I, poop outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If I could turn back the hands of time, <laughs> Toki. Like, he would do that, and then they'd be like, bang, 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 his whole lineage. Yeah, he couldn't do it. Probably I thought about that. I thought about that on the way over what? here, actually. I did. I know. I know I did. I was like, I bet Bobby couldn't do that. <laughs> Jesus, man. Have, have you ever, have you seen any of your babies get out of line and you had to fucking get them, put them back in the crib? Well, yeah, but I don't, I don't put them back. I, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, call them out because I feel like maybe they're going to be crazy. I, when, once they, once they, you want to get lost? You want to get lost, bro, in your head? You're lost. Yeah. I'm not the guy. Yeah. What am I? I'm a gatherer? Yeah, no. Not really. I'm not a stepdaddy. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. So do you see though that a lot that some of them are you worried some of them might do crime? Some of them do crime. Jesus Bro, Christ. Bro, let me let me ask you a question. Wow. You see this? Yeah, what's this? No, what's this? A guy in a baby shirt uh -huh. was caught on camera. He took a package off someone's uh Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you know this? Uh -uh. You just brought it I up. I swear to God, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. the, but these guys are both big fans How of yours. How did you find it? Way bigger fans than they are of mine. They never bring up shit from me. So, very fascinating. I saw this on Twitter and I replied. Oh. <laughs> Can we see more about this? My this is unbelievable. God. It says, does anybody know these men? They stole two packages from my neighbor and it's a screenshot of a security cam. No, dude. Clear as day, you can see babies this on the This is circuit. hilarious. And oddly, uh, the one guy looks just like you, Nick, the guy in the blue. <laughs> yeah, that's Nick. <laughs> Which is very interesting. Oh, you didn't know this, though. Yeah, this is driving me nuts. Can you Oh, yeah. Can, uh, turn it down one. Oh man, that's funny as shit! Wow, yeah, I had no idea. So this guy did some crime, and he's a babies. He's a he. See, was so, a the, so that's the thing. Like, I don't want him doing that. Yeah. But but I can't. The number one reply was a, a quote from you. It said, "People in this cult have literally killed people." <laughs> that, I, I was just gonna say that to you, and that's not my. <laughs> that's but, but, but that's what I'm saying to you. Like, you think like think about you did the last show in Brisbane, three thousand people. Yeah. You think none of those guys? You think none of those guys killed anybody? That's just too many people. Yeah. In Australia? Maybe in Australia they didn't. Yeah. If you did a show 3,000 people in America, fucking seven people have killed people. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I remember I, when I was- can't do back, We don't do background checks. Yeah. <laughs> Not in my cult. Yeah. I remember when I was young and they had class and they said that um, you, uh, when we walked into class, statistics, the guy said- there was 700 people in class, and he said, statistically speaking, two of you guys will be registered sex offenders. It was like one of the first things Jesus, he said. Jesus, where did you go to school? <laughs> uh, Louisiana State. Yeah, Louisiana. That's the only And one. I remember, that's when I stood up and yelled, not it. That's what I remember I yelled. <laughs> that's Which hilarious. crushed, bro. Did you right? actually do that? Yeah. Wow, that's crushed, really funny. dude. Wow. Um, and wait, was that freshman year? Yeah, it was freshman year. Wow, so that was your whole fucking, you were the funny guy immediately then. Yeah, at they that were point, like, we get nobody it. fucked that guy either, man. Wow, mm. that guy jerked himself off 
often though at the house. Mm-hmm. The, do you masturbate key. at your age or did you do it more when you were younger? What is that what's that journey been like for you? Um I don't know. I don't really I don't really do it too much. I do it more on the road. Yeah. You know. But are you are you what 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 I feel like um, you know what, dude? You jerked off a lot when you were younger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. could tell. The twenties I did yeah. Yeah, over in Santa Monica. Yeah. I've come in that area a lot, brother. Not yeah. proud of it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're but, trying to get away from it, but there's a porn place right across the hall now, so Theo's going to have What do you mean, off. though? It's They're like an agency. Oh, wow, agency. wow. Yeah. So they're going to be coming in and out. Right across the yeah. hall. <laughs> you want 10% of this? I know, huh? <laughs> oh. um, so, wait, well, I was going to say, hold on. There was a thing about 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 jerking off. Yeah, I I've, try not to jerk off anymore now. I could yeah, watch well, porn. Yeah, you, I'm like a year off pornography almost. You're so almost, a guy that would like be like, months. you know what? I'm going to try to not jerk off. Why, why? Because it just makes me feel weaker. It makes me feel sad if I why? jerk off. Why? I don't know why. It's a good question. But it makes me... A like, lot of um, people feel that way. Really? Immediately, it makes me feel that way. It makes me feel ashamed of myself. That's so weird to me. You, I mean, we're yeah, no, both I understand. weird. We're both yeah. weird. Yeah, no, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that's a bad thing, but... Yeah, no, I don't think you are. I think you're just disgusting. But yeah, man, I just feel... If I jerk off, I'm like, fuck, man. You know? Why? I'm such a fucking loser. I don't know why. That's so But it's a real thing. But it's just like eating. Yeah, it's eat. not like eating. It's like barfing. I feel like out of your, ween- like wiener, out of your wiener. wiener. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah. it's like both of those. But like in in a way, it's like both of those. Like it's barfing out of your wiener, but it's also you y- you just do it. I feel like if I injected it back into my body, you'd feel a lot better. Yeah, that's so um, something about like losing my steam, yeah. losing my manhood, losing my machismo. You that's know? very very ancient of you. Is it? You think you're a very ancient. Like you're like you should be in like Grecian old like, you know. Really, I mean? you think I seem ancient? I would be. Thanks, dude. I, I think no. I think that when you come, you feel ancient as shit afterwards. But I think that you, I think that you. Here's the deal, you know, in like Greece, like however many years ago, thousands of years ago, or fucking however many years ago, they would be like, we have to fuck these boys to make them men. Yeah, yeah. Did you know about that? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen like. Oh, yeah, I've heard about it. Yeah. yeah so. If I was transported back into that time mm-hmm. and they said, hey, uh, this is how we do it. You have to do it. I would be like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do that. And I think it would be fucking so many years before I cracked. I think for you, it would be eight days. Really? Yeah. You think I'd I think you'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> and they'd be like, this is what we do. And you'd be like, no. And a week would go by and you'd be like, I guess I gotta fit in, Ugh. and you eight or nine days, you'd be like, if "This is how they do the manhood thing." And what do I do after that? You feel real bad, but like in the coming weeks and months and years, what happens to me? Well, you probably, I mean, in our, you know, you probably just become Grecian and you're fucking that guy. But I don't do that. Hmm. Yeah, that makes me sad. <laughs> yeah, I would hate that, dude. I'd hate to be fucking some guy from a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. Imagine dude. that. Like it's hard enough probably banging some guy you don't even want to fuck these days, you know. But imagine a thousand years ago banging yeah. some dude when people are like, hey, you know, people think it's magic. People don't know what it is. Yeah, and I'll also tell you that they were not clean. Oh, they were so dirty. They were just outside <laughs> oh. a lot more, you know. All the hair on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. times, dude. No, bro, don't make that sound. That's yeah, one of the yeah, worst yeah, sounds yeah, people yeah, make. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. freaking grandfather used to always make. That yeah, 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 yeah. You think when you're old, you give a fuck anymore? You don't. You're fucking nothing. Not nothing gets you fired up anymore. You think when you're older? Uh, I think yeah, and I can't wait for that. Really? Yeah. Are yeah. you tired? I can't wait for that, dude. I already feel like uh, like uh, like I don't want to do so much shit. Like there's like three things I like doing. You know. And and sometimes jerking off and coming is one of them. So don't take that from me. Don't okay. try to yeah. Don't try to don't try to like be like I feel bad. Yeah, you're right. Feel, I wish you know I, I mean? did it, yeah. man. I wish yeah. it was awesome. Like I yeah. just got up in the morning, I was like oh, I'm gonna fucking jerk off real quick yeah. and then enjoy the rest of my experience today. <laughs> it's just not how it works well, for let me. Let me ask you a question. Do you? And I don't even really like talking about this, but do you do you take your time doing it or do you just do it to get it done? Mm, I usually I can get it done in less than a minute. I don't ever take more than two wow. minutes. Well, that might be one of your problems. You think so? Take yourself out on the date, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know? Like, go out to dinner. Oh, that's not Dress a bad nice. idea. Do something nice. You huh? know what I mean? Go to, like, fucking Pizza Cucina or some nice shit. I don't even know if that's a place, but, like, yeah. some place that would sound like that. And go... Go to, like, a Hardee's fucking... that has an upstairs. Yeah, 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 
Be like, yeah, where they you're like, are you guys seating up there? And they'd be like, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm like, I'm on a nice date. And they'd be like, all right, we got one seat up there. <laughs> sure, <yeah. laughs> you just sit there, you drink some wine or whatever the fuck you don't drink, but like you get some club soda. Yeah. And you just fucking you have a conversation with yourself, you know? Yeah, like not out loud, but in your head, and then you go home and you fucking think and like, you know, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if there was somebody there, you would be like, that was very nice, wasn't it? And they'd be like, Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. I have a do good that. time, dude. Shake hands with who the fuck you are, bro. Yeah. And then go home. Turn on some Netflix, maybe watch fucking Always Be My Maybe, and then afterwards, or in the middle, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know when you're watching a Netflix with a girl- Do you pause it, or do you keep going? No, nah, you keep it going. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll you pause do. pause it. No, you don't, though. Think about think about if you're with a chick, you don't yeah. pause it. I you, pause it to let her know. You pause it? Yeah. That's a boss move. Wow, you're an alpha. <laughs> am I? Oh, hey, bro, hey, bro, bro, think about that <laughs> shit. You're watching a movie with a chick, you're watching, you just go, boop. Yeah. That's amazing, bro. I don't pause it. I'm you know why? I'm too scared. <laughs> really? Yeah, bro. You keep it going. You go like, well, uh, mm, 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 <laughs> you know? <laughs> you got to pause it, man. You already watched 11 fucking 12 minutes of I it. I know cuz you want to keep it what See, that's actually a good move cuz then it's like you're like, I'm pausing this because I want to kiss you, but just so you know, I want to get back to this movie yeah. afterwards. You're not that important for me to miss this movie. Yeah, who knows. But you know, uh what I've thought, what I've been working on a lot lately is a lot yeah, like what is that it? is when I when I'm staring at somebody mm -hmm. and then they look at me, you know, the the instinct is to look away, but that's a bitch move. You got to keep staring at them. If they're if you're staring at them and they catch you, <laughs> you're like, this is what I was doing, and I'm not stopping because you chose to live your life. <laughs> that <laughs> is something you got to do. That, I've been working on that. It's very hard for some reason. Isn't that oh, weird? Yeah, it's very hard because it's extremely unnatural. I know it's very unnatural, but I think that we can switch that. I think that we <laughs> no, can change no. that. I think we can change that. I want because here's the thing. I want my kids to fucking do that. Right. So I have to work on it for myself. And this way, when they're growing up and they <laughs> see me kids doing that, be psychos, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be real. They're gonna psycho. be in the front yard, just looking at the yep, fucking yep. neighbors. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I actually can't wait. The neighbors out there picking up dog shit and looks yeah. over at them. They don't My look son's away. Just like, <laughs> like a fucking serial killer. What the fuck is wrong with those kids? And I and then I and then I and then I call them. And they go, hello, and I say nothing. Click because <laughs> oh, nothing's wrong with them. This is how I designed my kids, bro. If I could build kids, that would be amazing. Build my kids. Yeah. Do you know how you can like customize Nike if they had yeah. kid ID or whatever the fuck? Yeah. I would do that shit on a website. Click, click. I want his arms a little shorter, his legs a little longer. Camouflage the elbows. What would? What else would you do? <laughs> yeah. Um, what I would make them look. You know what I would do? I would make them whatever it is. I would make them look real <laughs> bad in uh, like any kind of like stupidest shit outfit. I would make sure he has the body only to wear normal fucking clothes because I don't want him getting fucking artsy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I don't want him being like, like I saw a guy the other day in a skirt, but not because he identified as a woman or was gay, just mm -hmm. because he thought it was cool. Oh, My yeah. son's not doing that shit. That's a James If you Smith identify shit. as a girl, fine. That's fine. Wear the skirt. If you're gay, wear the skirt, but don't be the guy that's like, this looks good on me. And I fuck chicks. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, Jaden Smith dresses like a Scottish man, like yeah. an old Scottish man. Yeah. Today's episode is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. A lot of people, you know, might have a wallet. Some of them might not. Some people are deceased. But the thing about the Ridge Wallet is it's something you put in the front pocket. No more of this back fancy pants. You know, your butt is all obscure. Oh, look at that guy. Look at the growth. Oh, he must have measles or mumps. Look at that hump on that boy. Things are different now. Now you can get that front pocket carry from Ridge. It's that front pocket wallet. Go to RidgeWallet.com slash TPW and use code TPW at checkout for 10% off that beautiful Ridge wallet. Do you have a lot of fancy wallets? Well, time for something new. Something novel. I'm talking about that front pocket carry. Concise, concealable. Ooh, he's got that action. That's code TPW for 10% off at RidgeWallet.com slash TPW. Enjoy that front pocket carry. This past weekend is brought to you by Skillshare. Sometimes you think you know a skill and then you get out in the world and you don't. Sometimes people say, oh, you could do cement and you get out there by the mixer and you got the rake and the shovel and then you, you ain't doing shit, you know. But things can change and Skillshare is here to help. 
Skillshare, an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in business, design, and more. You'll discover countless ways to fuel your curiosity, creativity, and your career. Take classes in social media marketing, mobile photography, creative writing, even illustration. I'm on there right now on Skillshare trying to find ways that I can more fine-tune uh, things that I do on social media. Whether you're looking to discover a new passion or start that side hustle, gain skills anyway, go to Skillshare. It's there to keep you learning and reaching new goals. Join the millions of students. I'm talking millions Already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer. Get two months of Skillshare for free. That's right. Skillshare is offering this past weekend listeners two months of unlimited access for over 25,000 classes for free. Go to Skillshare.com slash Theo Vaughn. Again, go to Skillshare.com slash Theo Vaughn to get your two months started now. Skillshare.com slash Theo Vaughn. And thank you so much for supporting this past weekend. Um, yeah, I could see, also I could see what would be cool if your kids were immediately the same height as you, like once they hit like nine years mm. old or 11. That would probably be an advanced package you'd have to buy. Yeah, yeah. but can you imagine, yeah. dude, some 11-year-old same height? Uh, you know what I would do? Weaker neck and arms, though? Uh, uh, fucking calf power. I'd have my kid have a calf power. Like I don't have 20 calf power. percent. You'd have like yeah, maximum yeah, yeah. 20 yeah, on calves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, like, man. Damn, look at the calves and that guy. Brown so you, eyes, not blue eyes. No way. Have you ever met a guy with blue eyes? Do you have blue eyes? No, I don't have blue what do you eyes, have? dude. Look at me. I'm yeah. five feet away from you. You got like brown eyes? Green eyes, Green yeah. Eyes, yeah. I would never touch a guy with blue eyes. They're just hand, hands down. I, you know, it's just Nick weird has to me. Them. But it's Very not. Bizarre. I'll tell you so what, Nick. Gianni, and, and I better tell you what, Nick. That's not sexy to have blue eyes as a guy. Yeah. Yeah. You don't and think so? Also, blonde hair, you're pushing it. Uh, He's pushing, he dies. Yeah, you don't hair have blonde too. hair as a guy. A guy with blonde hair, no. A guy with blonde hair, blue eyes, no way. Yeah. Because here's the thing. You got to look good in a fucking black leather jacket as a dude. Mm. And if you have blonde hair, you don't. You got to yeah. wear a brown leather jacket. Ooh, brown leather jacket some my mom wears. But, but, but it's okay to wear a brown leather jacket sometimes. But if you're a blonde guy, you got to wear it all the time. And that's not okay. I don't know. Yeah. I, well, I do. And that's how oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't. Re I'm glad somebody had an. Bro, I spent my time thinking about this shit. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So, do you have? Do you? Do you? Where do your? Do you think ideas just come into your head, or where are they? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Well, how do are you? Are you think always of just shit? like thinking of something? Yeah. Like you see something, you're like, oh, I'm gonna think about this. Yeah. I think about it all the time. I don't think about the shit that matters. Yeah, you don't. Not fun. I fucking just worry about the shit that matters. Yeah, but you also have that fucking thing where it's like, I wonder what Bobby looked like with different lips. Like yeah. you would think about that. Yeah, I just want, I mean, I think about Bobby a lot, dude, because I worry that he's just mm -hmm. not living up to his full potential. Right. So you think about that, which is very nice, but also you might think, you know. What it's like inside of his girl. No, you know? no. But you but make up shit. You make don't you make up situations in your head? I do it all day. No, long. you do this. All that's one thing I'm envious of. Long. I think I used to be able to do it more, and I don't know what happened to me as I got older. I got more worried that, about shit. I mean, that's what my podcast is. It's, yeah. a, it's a, what if this happened and then that happened, and then for some reason people listen to it. Yeah, you're good at that, man. You're good at uh at being like, oh, what, 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 yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't and know then why like I taking us into like an alternate universe, but it's good. I think it's what makes you a good actor. It's like mm. you have an interest in taking people into an alternate universe. You know, it's I think it's one of the things that maybe make you want to be a fighter like a um a superhero or, mm. a, or a you know a, a, in mm. that universe is because mm. you want to be in these alternate universes you want to be able to shoot a laser out of your mm. fucking neck bone you know yeah. like you want to be able to lift it up into a fucking galaxy yeah. ship you mm. know yeah i think these are things that you know that seem realistic on you because you 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 kind of fan it you you kind of live them out in your everyday even your some of your old images i remember on your website you're on a fucking you're shooting a fucking oh, water yeah, gun yeah, on top yeah. of a Punisher fucking shoot. Yeah. whale's back or something yeah. like where is this motherfucker mm. dude is he must be you know by the airport or something you can't check yourself though you know that's the thing like and you, you're good at that but you also do you check yourself sometimes yeah i think i check myself often yeah man. but you're you're you but you also don't you but you also is what makes you so fucking funny is like you have your own language and shit like we actually kind of both have that like you know what i mean like yeah. i hear people doing your terms and shit but like you uh you uh you like you're you have a style where like you're so you and that's because you let yourself be that way yeah that's when you're best i think 
Yeah. I think that's what most people think about you, you know? And then, like, you go off and you worry about stuff after that. Yeah, that's what I do yeah. immediately when yeah. I get off. Yeah, you don't have to do that. First, I see if Neil Brennan has any advice for me, and right. then I just go worry yeah. about myself. And, and he does. And he does, yeah. yeah. He usually has a couple yeah. of fucking free insights. <laughs> what about this, though? Do, do you think that... Um, do you find I, I I find sometimes I have trouble telling a story that I've told before after a while on the road and making it yeah. feel genuine to myself. Interesting. Well, you're like a storyteller, pretty right. much, right? Yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I like telling stories. Yeah. No, I mean, you're fucking. It's you. You should. Right. You're, you're, you should. You think. kind of are, though. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um. It's, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's weird. Like, like I'll do a bit like five times. And it'll crush, and then it'll drop off yes. after like five times, and then I'll get it back for a while, and then like after like seven months, I, I think that's what you're talking about. Like I'll just be like, oh, I'm just doing this. I'm just saying this. Yes, that's what it yeah. starts to be, and I can't find my way out mm. of that. It's like every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make yeah. it fresh this time. I'm gonna make it new, and I try to, but it just doesn't. But a newer bit always does better. I know, I know, I know, and it kind of sucks too because like. A bit is so much better. Like, do you ever do, like, the other day I did some shit that I've been doing, then I did a new bit, and it worked, mm -hmm. and it was good. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. And then I went into my old shit, like, that I, again, like, from, that I've been working on, mm -hmm. and it was just like, oh, that's how a bit works. It was like, boom, 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 and I was like, fuck, I gotta get that new bit to that. Right. But the new bit is the shit... The, the 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 laughs that you're getting from the new bit are the sh is the shit w that where they're like they they are laughing because they feel you excited about it you know yeah oh maybe you, that's what yeah. it is and they they can understand your excitement yeah so I I always like think about like like I'll I laugh a lot on stage yes. and people are like are you laughing is that real and the truth is. I'm laughing not at what I'm saying. I'm laughing at the fact that I can't believe I get to do this for a job. Right. And it's so fun. And I'm like looking at you guys and like, you think this is funny? Like I'm yeah. already there right now. Like I'm like, this right. is fucking awesome. And that's why I'm laughing. Like I can't believe you let me do this as a job. And these jokes that I thought of, a lot of them I thought of on stage. So I laughed when I was saying them. So I just keep that vibe, you know? Yeah. It's not like I'm laughing. I know I've said this shit before, you know? Right. Uh, but, but it's a genuine laugh, you know? Yeah, it's fun to see it's fun to know that people are gonna enjoy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing that they're gonna about to enjoy it or that they are having a good yeah. time, it's like yeah it's fun yeah i feel like as an audience member like you see the spark in the comedian and they're enjoying it and having yeah. fun you have that smile on yeah your face. and i think that's what really is like mm. oh, they are so like in touch with this and then after a while like obviously you're doing the same joke it's like you're not as excited telling the story so the crowd isn't excited hearing it. yeah mm. i mean it's definitely like an energy thing right yeah yeah it must be yeah. and it must be yeah that's why Sometimes it's not like I want to tell them the story because they've never heard it, but mm -hmm. I just it doesn't land as great as it once did. But and you know what like, though? Sometimes it does, and you just don't think it does. You know, like you ever have those sets where you're like, "Oh, they didn't like me," and then they come out uh, like if there's a meet and greet, and they're like, "Dude, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen." Yeah, and you're like, like in Minnesota. Really? Yeah, yeah. You're like, you didn't seem like it. Yeah. You're like, All right. Yeah, I guess that's true, and I guess maybe if you hear the same, if you hear a song enough, mm -hmm. if you know the cadences of their laughter mm -hmm. at certain points, you hear a it's just like hearing a song yeah. enough where you're like, oh, the song is still good, but it's not the same as this new song that I'm right, playing. Right? Yeah. When I tell these new jokes and I get different yeah. laughs on. Like, remember the time first time you heard fucking hot in it's so hot in here? Yeah. You were like, oh, what? Yeah. That fucking <laughs> Nelly song. <laughs> bang, bang. Yeah, so and, good. But now you'd be like, okay, well, maybe now you'd be like, oh, I remember that. But like after like. Here's the thing, dude. Songs like four years later, you're like, get this shit off. Yeah. But songs like eight years later, yeah. you're like, oh, this shit rocked. Yeah, we did that. You got to get back to that point in your act, you know? Or at least for me, that's what I think. Like, I'll do the song, I'll, I'll do the, the, the joke. It's banging because it's a hit. It's a new song that just came out. And then it drops off because it's like you're in the three year thing where you're like, oh, this is like an old song. Yeah. And then it's like when I was. When I was young, when I was 15 and 16, I started getting embarrassed hanging out with my dad because that's like the age you get embarrassed oh, hanging out with yeah, your parents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my dad said, 
we used to hang out. What the fuck? And I said to him, yeah, but it only lasts for like a few years. When I'm 19 or 20 after high school again, it'll be cool to hang out with you again. He was like, really? And he was, I was like, yep. And it's true. Wow. Is that, is that, it's that thing you got to get back to being a 19 year old again, where it's cool hanging out with your dad. No, Do, it, it but you sense. knew that in advance and told you. Yeah. That yeah. That? My dad always brings it up. He was like, dude, how did you know that in advance? And I was like, I don't know. I think I just saw people doing it. Do you know all of it? Like all the beats of the life. And then it's just like you are. You, I think so. So how are you enjoying it then if you already know it all, if you like know that how it's all going to kind of break down and when to do what? Yeah, but it's like, it's like, because the anticipation is what the most fun is, which is the, which is the fun. It's like when you're like, you're like, let's go to Vegas and you're in Vegas. It's usually not as fun as the whole fucking let's go to Vegas thing. Right. Yeah. The yeah, way yeah. there, the on the way there is the best part because you're thinking about, fuck yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Do you, has any, do you think you could be ever fall victim to a surprise party or not? I have. You have? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was bullshit. It was it? No, it was great, but it was bullshit that they got me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because you seem like the kind of guy who would not let people get him on a surprise party. It's your fucking birthday. You know, I mean, it's. She got me. Mm. It was fucking 2000. <clears throat> it was 2007. Wow. Six. Mm. She fucking got me, man. What Was it a restaurant? It was at a bar. It was a bar restaurant, yeah. Wow. I don't think a place exists anymore. I think after that night they shut down. Damn, like, damn. But, uh, we gotta stop believe this. they got me. Oh, yeah. I don't think that I would be able to get got now. Really? I yeah. I don't think so, bro. Yeah, you seem way too. Like you seem like the kind of guy who, like, as somebody's walking into a restaurant, mm -hmm. we'd be like, "Hey, it's just no, it's a surprise party. Yeah. When you get in there, don't yeah. let them." Yeah, I would be like, uh, I, I mean, even now, like my birthday's in March, but when somebody's like, "You want to hang out?" and it's September, I'm like, "Better not be a fucking surprise." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not for my birthday. Yeah, party. Yeah. yeah, we got some questions that came in um, for Chris D'Elia. Let's see them. When's what? your new film coming out, Chris? I don't know. I think in the fall, but I'm not sure. Are you excited about it? Are you nervous about it? Nah, I'm. I'm yeah, whatever. It's fine. You know. You but it went well. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm happy. Uh, like you know, honestly, whatever. Nothing yeah. matters anyway. Yeah, for real. Like you know, it's oh, like oh yeah, I wish people that. are like no. Nah, it's true though. You, yeah. you know how. It's like people are like, ah, oh, is it okay if I do this fucking spot for Comedy Central, or is it okay if I do this movie? It doesn't matter, dude. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, unless it's like a fucking wiggle. murder. Yeah, or like Captain America. Yeah. If you had to fight for a country, would it be America? Like as a superhero, or would it be? I think I would. I would be like, uh, you know, I don't think I, I don't think I would pick a country. I think I would just be like, look. We gotta be in this all together, you know. This is from this is for this is for the better of mankind, you know. Do you think you could save the world? Like, um, from what though? I don't know. Probably not. But damn. But you would try, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, I would try. Yeah, I would try. Yeah, I would try. But like, I wouldn't. Yeah, I love this. This is the character I already love. This character, but whoever like, this I guy is, I whoever this superhero yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Ah. Doctor Maybe. I would try. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would try, but like, it will be tough. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that should be the pitch tape for whatever the fucking mm -hmm. film is gonna be. Yeah. It, look, it, I'm gonna just telling you guys the truth. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. look, I know we got this sidekick over here, fucking mm -hmm. Waterman or whatever yeah, your yeah. name is. Yeah, I don't know, guy. Yeah. it's just gonna be acting. What are we up against? And then they show me, and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna lie, dude. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be tough, and I don't know if I can do it, but I'll do it. I'll try. Realism. That's yeah. your fucking. That's yeah. your that's your superhero name. Yeah. Realism. I'm gonna need a bunch of rocks and a yeah. bunch of guns. Yeah. yeah. The rocks. And you're gonna need to get a divorce. You tell one of your guys. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. And here's the other thing too: the rocks can't be too heavy. They have to be <laughs> carryable. So that's where we're at, guys. <laughs> Let's hit a uh, question here. What do we have, Nick? You want to turn up uh, one again because it's going to come out of those headphones? Okay, oh, perfect. Gotcha. You need headphones on or no? Mm -mm, I think we can hear them. Right, what up, Theo? What up, Chris? It's Brian from Ohio. Akron, Ohio. What's up? Had a quick question. Was just curious as to how you guys met each other. Yes. And what were the first impressions? Did you guys like each other? Did you not? You know? Let me know. Gang, gang. Okay, blue eyed. First of all, that yeah, guy. Yeah, you can't try. I mean, you might not get with a brown leather jacket on. So <laughs> crossing guard. Is it a crossing as well. guard. I think what so. the fuck was that thing? I mean, that's 
Uh, hopefully he was. If yeah, I not, hope you're a crossing guard. Looks like bro. he's in golf clothes. Oh uh, man! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! For sure. Look oh. at him. I, that guy could be standing naked, and you'd be like, "Oh, you love golf." Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But he also looks like he either is a crossing guard, he's valedictorian at fucking a Foot Locker, because that's some very neon green sash he's wearing. Yeah, uh, we, we know one. We we know what we know one one thing that he for sure is. What? One, two, three. A Republican, yeah. Okay, that I, mean, guy, I thought you were going to say this probably. Well, but, okay, yeah, yeah. So anyway, two-term Trump. Okay, he's saying, yeah, yeah. he has so, already tatted on, and that's his okay. Back. You know, you, you do what you <laughs> got to do. But I'm everybody gonna, makes their own yeah. choices. Get in the booth and vote. Yeah. So, uh, so the question, yeah, I'm I know when I met you. Really? Yep. Do you, you? It's hard to remember when you met. See, somebody. I hate this because if you don't remember, then the other person can fucking trump you and just and nah, then you believe what they it, say. But there's no reason why you'd remember when we've had our first conversation. There's zero reason why you'd remember it. And I know and I know this. Okay. And you don't even know when it was, and it wasn't and, and both of us were not doing stand up yet. Really? Yep. And I've told you this and you forgot it because of the same reason why when I told you this was the same reason why when we met, it was because you were high both times. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. We were in <laughs> we were in uh uh Saddle Ranch. No. Yep. What were mm -hmm. you doing there? You know what? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah. So, so you, the people were riding the bull, and you were kind of like, you were with some people that had to do with some kind of production. I think it was that. But you, I was not in line for the bull because I would not ever ride the bull. Right. But you, you, we were around that area. And I was like, huh. And I looked at you and I was like, crazy, huh? Or something. I don't know what I said. But you said, man, a lot of chicks out there. <laughs> really? <laughs> out where in the world uh, in the bull on the oh, bull wow, and the, yeah you see all these girls huh something like that damn. yeah and you were so faded oh damn yeah, yeah. yeah like on pills or something no fuck you bro, dude. you were on pills this isn't a real thing you were happen, something dude. Dude. it was saddle what? ranch bro i remember you had a hat on dude i remember dude i remember when i met you then no, I didn't make it up. <laughs> yeah. You can't say then after that. I That's do. a real story. I do remember. All right. I remember when I met you. So I remember I was playing in like a young Kay. athletic men's <laughs> basketball league, right? Already this is wrong. No. <laughs> didn't you used to live near Olympic? <laughs> this was off of Olympic Boulevard. No. Or it was, it couldn't, it might have been not, it might have been off, off somewhere else, off okay. of Wilshire or Santa, okay. or Santa Monica Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it was like it was a like a it was like a league I was in. It was like a championship game or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My team was our team was called Hot to Trot, right? Yep. That was our team. Okay. So anyway, it's funny it's coming back to me now. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it's like the end of the game. I drive, get fouled, score. Right. Mm -hmm. It's an obvious and one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the line. And the ref, bro. Okay. First of all, the fucking <laughs> ref, dude. All legs, right? This is probably about 10 years ago when you were a little bit younger. Okay. All legs, dude. Barely. It was, it was like legs and like long hair, and you couldn't really know much else about him. Uh -huh. um, he's like, uh, no foul. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Blew his whistle and comes over and goes, no foul. Mm -hmm. And it was you. And he was on pills. <laughs> I don't know if he was on pills, but he definitely he didn't know anything about refereeing. Yeah. I don't even know if he was an actual referee, but I just remember him. He fucking ruined it. Wow, and I just remember, man, f who the fuck is that guy? Not even well, paying attention. I don't. I, I tell you what, there's a lot of shit in my life I don't remember. I don't remember that, but I will tell you this: mm -hmm. I stand by my call. If that was me, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. yeah. And I, I honestly think you fucking traveled too, but I'm not. Even gonna, oh, get yeah, the fuck I do. out of here! I, I think you probably traveled, dude. It was for the West District City Championship, bro. <laughs> and I was like, and I think I remember. If I don't remember this, but yeah. if it did happen, I think I remember <laughs> thinking, dude, I wonder if you fucking paid for a plane ticket with that travel. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that guy got a travel from kayak. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember the guy I saying like a really this. bad joke like that. Boop, were you on Priceline.com <laughs> or whatever yeah. the fuck? And you go, what? And, and I saw on your face in the middle of the what, you got the joke. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. But yeah, I definitely remember that, man. Okay. And so, do you remember meeting? I don't remember the first time we met comedy wise, though, stand up, besides outside of the Saddle Rancher or the Basketball Rec League. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I mean, I remember one night there was some girl that got so that got mad at you on the front porch of the comedy store. Do you remember that. this? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I remember like she was just being like a real bitch. Mm -hmm. And I remember I don't remember that. 
uh, the only other times I've ever, that I even I don't even remember talking to you that much until maybe about like two years ago. Mm. You know, mm. I never liked talking to people that were doing well in comedy. Yeah, I know you're fucking weird like that, bro. Well, because I don't like them. I never want. I, I don't know. So many people it seemed like were like. Yeah, I, I understand sneaky. that, but you're so not that guy. Yeah, but if you do that kind of behavior, then I feel like you become that guy. Yeah, but as long as you know? you're aware of that, then you're not going to be that guy. Right. You know, it's not like you're fucking, you know, it's not like you're like the guy that's like, oh, this fucking guy's around. You know those yeah. guys that just stand? Yeah. You're like, what What are you doing? Model. And they're just standing? Yeah. But you're like in the parking lot of the comedy store and you're talking uh, yeah. and you're like, What's what 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 what's fucking going on here? Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you know those guys. Yeah. We're like, you're like, am I in a horror movie? What the fuck is happening? You yeah. look, and there's just a fucking. And you didn't have a weapon. Yeah, just Bro, a standard. If I was ever a standard, yeah. dude, yeah. fuck, dude, get out of here. Those At guys, least loiter. At least pace. Yeah, a hundred percent. And if you're just gonna stand, say some shit. Yeah, yeah. Those guys gotta go. Go to lunch. <laughs> those guys are fucking out to lunch go to lunch bro yeah. this one i would press one of your buttons right yeah, now and fucking yeah. use uh -huh, it dude. that's right um let's get another question that came in but i don't remember i, I do remember being i felt like intimidated to talk to you kind of i would get nervous talking around because you were always so confident you always say that yeah yeah and i was i remember i'd be like i don't know what i'm gonna fucking say like yeah, yeah. i'm gonna go over there oh here's a guy oh, this is like if me and you had a baby <laughs> this guy <laughs> Hey guys, I'm this you guys. is Austin from Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, of course you are. So excited you guys are doing a podcast together. Gang, gang, gang cult, gang. cult. Anyways, oh ask Chris if he's going to continue with the 30-minute stand-up specials or if he's going to go back to the traditional hour. Love to hear y'all's thoughts on that. I like this guy already. Peace you know player. I mean? Nice guy out of Jackson, Mississippi. Nice, nice to get face. drunk over there. Mm. Over there by Hal and Mouse and over there by the Cherokee just, Bar. Once you cross the line, you're drunk. Yeah, you get there, you're right. like, oh, it feels so weird. Oh yeah, and you see the sign "Welcome to Jackson, Mississippi." Oh, my reading goes down the second I even get yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Um, uh, so yeah, so uh, yeah. I'm, what would you do next? Would you do another Netflix? Would you put something out on your own? Would you do? So I'm doing another special, yeah, for Netflix, okay. uh, and it'll be an hour. I I'm shooting it soon, but I wow in the next few months. But I the this the half hour thing I they came to me with, and they were like, "Do you want to do it?" And I just thought it was a cool idea because, first of all, I had half an hour of material that I didn't want to put on my next special. Mm. So I was like, "That's perfect for me." And also, like, I'm I'm always I always want to try the new thing or the different thing. I at least want to try it. Like, I want to, mm. like, like I I think I think a lot of people. So my two other specials on Netflix: Incorrigible and Man on Fire. Man on Fire is sixty minutes. Incorrigible is a an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes, something like that. I know that, so my first one on Netflix, Incorrigible, I purposely put the banger shit at the end because mm -hmm. you close with the banger shit, you know right. what I mean? But I know people didn't get to that because that's a long time to watch stand up, and people yeah. watch it before they're going to go out at night, or or they're just they you know they put it on at night and they fall it's asleep. Passive, yeah, you know what I mean. A lot it's of times very, people watch passively. Exactly. So I know because of that. They, they, they'll they often reference the first half of that incorrigible mm. act. And I'm like, I know the second half is 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 way funnier. So they say, oh, I love the part about this. And I'm like, you didn't watch the whole thing. Right. Because the last part right. is better. No one ever right? talks about the end stuff. Exactly. So with Man on Fire, it's a little different because it's a half, it's an, it's an hour. Mm -hmm. And so I started thinking like, I think people are just trying to consume shit. I think that it's better to click on something. I think, that, oh, it's only a half hour. I'll watch it. Right. I got time. So I was like, I, I really want to do that because I think that'll be a good idea. And I had the material. Um, but, you know, some people were like, I think they thought they were being slick. They were like, oh, dude, so you, they were not allowing you to do an hour? It's like, yeah, fuck you just that. don't get the business. But like, uh, yeah, I'm doing my next yeah, one. Yeah, Nick Swartzen did a half. I mean, it was a yeah. cool group too. Yeah, it was Neil. It was, it was a neat yeah, group. It was Nicole. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I also thought it'd be good for my like overseas uh, shit because it's like the world thing that they were doing. The comedians oh of the yeah, world. yeah, comedians of the world. Yeah, so I'm gonna do another hour. Uh, I have it ready, pretty much. I'm I'm cutting and pasting, but uh, yeah. Wow. Damn. Well, by the way, what about you? What are you doing? You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm ready to do one. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I just don't know what to do. Yeah, kind of. Well, know. just play it right. You know, take your time. Like you don't. 
I mean, not take your time, but like hold out. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, I, honestly, dude, even like what what like Andrew Schultz is doing is fucking cool. Like, he's just putting it out as it you know every now and then on YouTube. Like, yeah, kind of like that. The I only mean, thing is, there's no like payday, no to money, it, but, right? but 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 you own it's it. It's an still. invest. It's an investment, though. It's like you know, it's like you know, you 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 build up the views, you build up the fan base, which which you've already done with your podcast and shit. But like you know, and people love your Netflix special. But it's just like. You know, yeah. I mean, my Netflix post was kind of shit. I'd like to have another one on there that was pretty cool. Mm. I mean, I would even see if maybe you if, don't like it. You don't like. The I didn't movie? like the first one. Yeah, yeah, but maybe it's just because it's fucking you and you. Yeah, it was just a bad that that weekend of shows was just rough. Oh, really? It just was a, not a, that good of an oh. experience. Um, I mean, I'm grateful for it. It was fun, and huh. uh, and it was what it was. You know, it was a. Well, learning you never know experience. what kind of crowd or what kind of vibe you're gonna get. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um. So that was kind of tricky. Yeah. Um. Let's uh, take another question or two. All right. All right. Uh, since we like this guy, we got another question from mm, your cool. son. What's up, Theo? It's Austin Eubanks, Jackson, Mississippi. Just get my oil changed. My question for Daddy is, what's your role going to be at the log cabin? Is Theo at the log cabin? Has he reached elder status? Oh, yeah. Or is, is he going to be Charles pulling Manson? lawn duty? No, I, think it's, I honestly think that's Shia LaBeouf gang, gang. makeup. Okay. So, uh, yeah, everyone's invited. If you want to be a part of that, people are like, what do I do to be a part of the cult? It's like, if you're asking the question, you're already in it. You know yeah. what I mean? That's what we say here. <laughs> so, um, you took the first step. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, they say, they say, what do I have to do to be in the cult? I say, you're welcome. That's yeah. what I say. <laughs> and I said, do we skip that's a cool. few sentences? I say, no, that's how it goes here. And, uh, <laughs> So yeah, so you know, uh, look, it's my cult, but it doesn't mean that fucking you know, you got, you know. If I say you know, guys, this fucking shit, we need this to be you know, whatever it is done, then yeah, somebody's got to do it. But there's enough people that somebody will be like, all right, I'll do it. Somebody you will know? do it. Yeah, you see, you, you see, you see Chernobyl that show. Uh, uh-uh, uh, is it good? Yeah, really good. But the guys are like, we need fucking three of you to go in and uh, turn the water off, and you're all gonna die in the next week. And they did it. Do it, and and everyone's like. And then some guy finally was like, all right, I'll do it. It's like, <laughs> if somebody's going to do that, somebody will fucking clean the bathroom <laughs> in the lock cabin. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, man. I'd like to apply. Well, you don't have I, to. I have a question. Mm. Uh, what was your guys' thoughts when you went to each other's podcast studios? Was it? Oh, yeah. Also, you're an elder. I keep forgetting to bring you the, the certificate. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you fucking guest hosted the show. Oh, yeah. I got a pin for you, dude. It's really cool. Do you really? Uh-huh. Oh, it's cool, I man. Thank it. you, dude. It was an honor, man. It was it was definitely scary. You have like a you live in like a gated community, mm-hmm. first of all. And the guy gave me a gang gang whenever I rolled through. Just, no, he didn't. Swear to God, bro. Oh, wow. Who the was white it? guy. He was a white guy. Looked very basic. Nice guy. See, I don't even know that guy. He. I have some video of him. Actually, I secretly was video videoing some of the moments just so because I didn't know what was gonna happen. Mm. So I got up there then and like yeah, it was crazy. Somebody was. <clears throat> Yeah, there was like I think Magic Johnson was yeah. jogging in he the neighborhood. Like yeah. it was very yeah. intense. It was sheep. Remember that people? Some people. Had, I think it was Scotland yeah. was like in the distance. Mm-hmm. Like it was very. There are areas that are uh, technically Scotland. It might. It yeah, might there was a there. lot of endangered species. Yeah. I saw that I had yeah. nobody seen in a long yeah. time actually. And I was like, yeah. oh, you, you know, they're looking for you. You know, I yeah. told some of the animals. Yeah. Somebody so, said. Somebody said to me once, "Hey, do you? I gotta ask you. Do you really rank your dogs? Yeah. And I <laughs> said. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. And they said, no. Yeah. And I said, why are you asking this question? <laughs> and they said, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that's how that conversation went. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, yeah. dude. Yeah. Man, I got to listen to your podcast this more well, often. You know, I mean, it's kind of, you, know, so you just good. call me up, but. It's good, yeah. <laughs> There's no guests. But yeah, man, people, I mean, a lot of people have, you know, are concerned about their health and safety. Let's get I, liked, I liked doing the fucking... You did? Yeah, you it was fun it. as shit. Thanks. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. And it was good for us. I think that, like, you know... Oh, it shocked yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even my mom was like, what is happening, mm-hmm. son? Dude, my are favorite... Are you getting enough sun? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mom, it's not fucking me. You're strangely tan. You yeah. look like a guy that should be much whiter than you are. And you and you know that. And you know oh, that. Yeah, boy. Yeah. What's the deal? Dude. Are you outside a lot? Huh? Are you no, outside? I'm a lot? inside, man. Yeah. My, I'm, you know, I'm uh part of my family's from Nicaragua, bro. And nah. that's not a racial story. Yeah, my father's from Nicaragua. What? Yeah. Nicaragua, bro. Wow. Where my Nick Gar's at, huh? Well, <laughs> 
A little too close. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's a, yeah. And hopefully the audio is clear on that. Yeah, it so is. People it's know. okay. Though. okay. I, I got your back. Okay. There's a C in there. <laughs> okay, good. Um, yeah, dude, it was scary, actually. I got there and I was like, oh, how does he... It felt different to me. I felt... It was hard, I felt like. It was fun, but it was hard. I wish I'd prepared a little more. Oh, people more. loved it. Uh, I mean, I guess I thought I didn't really prepare either. But but sometimes like the, like some of the most fun I had was taking the calls. You know, you're just like this shit was hilarious. Those guys, like the, the fucking guys, like your listeners, bro. Yeah, they're like you know how you know what your listeners are like. Some of them, not all of them, uh-huh. but some of they're them listening. are like you know. Oh, I know they're listening. <laughs> okay. And get ready for this yeah. because this is what char. Okay, <laughs> so you are you know you know. Um, have you ever seen Total Recall, the first one, uh-huh. where, where the guy is With like that third tit. The the guy coming out of the side? Yes. Your listeners are that guy. Oh, and you're the guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your <laughs> listeners are like the guy coming out of you, you. And they're just like, what do they call him? Quanto or whatever the fuck it is? What, what is it? What the fuck oh you call him? <laughs> That's your listener. Those are, your li- those are some of your listeners, bro. What the fuck do they call that guy? Some of the Q. Who knows? It's not in the new one, though, with Colin oh, Farrell. Oh, my God, dude. You live in such a weird space. <laughs> Um, let's get one more for uh, Mr. Chris D'Elia. Cap it, yeah. Here we go. Hey, guys. It's Kyrick from Rhode Island. My God. question for Chris is, do you think you could grow a mullet equally as great or better than Theo's? And if you could, would you consider going on a mullet boys tour together? Thanks, that's, guys. That's okay, a yeah. good question. Wow, mullet boys. I really boys. like that question. I like the guy's energy. He, he did. Sh- he was confident, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. At first, I was like, oh, fuck this. But then he was very confident. Nice young man, too. Should have nice maybe skin. thought about his hair a little bit before he fucking sent it <laughs> yeah, over. Didn't but have any plans. Yeah, no plans. Also, it has a shirt on backwards. It, no, dude. no, it's not backwards. It's an NHL shirt. That's a logo goes there, bro. Oh, that's crazy. But yeah, so um, anyway, looks like a good. He, I will say this: his eyebrows look like they're a little scared of each other. Yeah, but they're they trying do. to get you know they look like they're trying to get over his ears. Yeah, the, but they're going to figure it out. And also, I'm just we'll losing this fan here as we. Yeah, no, 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 bro, bro. This is why you, you got to fucking you got to tell the fans how it is, bro. You got to <laughs> really? tell it how it is. No. you got to, man. He's a great guy. He's a young guy. He's you don't 15. know that, dude. This could be the, one of the guys that fucking kill people. You don't know that. The guy That's could be true. literally be literally could be his fucking somebody <laughs> behind him, just like this. <laughs> Literally, that's true. Huh? You think a murderer has ever stopped a murderer to watch one of our podcasts? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> one of ours. Yes, a hundred percent. You think there's somebody laying dead somewhere with our podcast just playing in the background? I think right somebody's now? been killed to our <laughs> oh, podcast damn. while it was on, like uh, American Psycho instead of uh, yep. Huey yep. Lewis in the news. They play Chris cut just fucking over and over again, stabbed, and I'm in the back just being like, you know. Let's go to fucking misconnections in Sacramento. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then they die, and then like fucking the, the, after my podcast is like fucking Pod yeah. Save America or some <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. It's another Logan Paul talking to a stripper. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a good question, man. Will we ever what was do the a tour? I even lo- oh, it's about mullets. Yeah, and touring. I will say this: I, I, I don't think I could pull a mullet off like you. No way. Yeah. Yeah. You've got uh, the right look for it, but also, I would, I wouldn't, I, I, I like it. I like a mullet. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would like to do maybe like a mohawk at some point. Ooh, that would be very cool. But I think I got fucking. Maybe I got a weird head. I don't even know. I haven't seen my head, dude. That's a risky I don't move. I've ever going, seen my head. Would you ever go buzz cut? That's insane. Never seen my head. Oh, I never seen my head. I would never do a buzz cut. Man, it's way scary. You yeah. got to be a psychopath. My head's like Braveheart. I yeah. never seen it. Oh, yeah, damn, never really? seen it. Never seen it. Saw it once. Saw yeah. it once. Okay. Saw, it once. Saw both of them once. Okay. I'll be honest. <laughs> Would never see him again. But you um, know. wow. Yep. Well, you guys can listen to congr- congratulations yep. pod. I got my podcast. Congratulations. Love your podcast. Love this past weekend. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, that was one of the craziest things ever. I remember watching when you walked onto the mm-hmm. screen in our mm-hmm. podcast, on this podcast, I was like, holy shit. It's like seeing your teacher at the supermarket. You're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. It's you like, ever seen Mr. Ab Roberts and here? fucking Ralph's? No way, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's weird as fuck. You're like, oh, yeah, you got a real life. I forgot. Yeah. You think of your teacher just like fucking at the end of the class period, like, okay, bye. and then they just buy and they close the door and they just fucking get in a bed and curl up <laughs> yeah, and go to sleep yeah, yeah. with like an apple next to one. But they <laughs> don't, bro. They go fucking to the supermarket and shit. They got families. Yeah, and you see what's nuts. in their cart. You're like, what? Weird. 
tuna fish macaroni bro yeah you're nuts where's your wife that was always a scare so we realized they didn't have a wife nah, or you something know who their wife is their wife is always another teacher oh in in like the different school right that's oh. fucking doesn't seem right mrs app roberts is in fucking flint ridge or some shit yeah, yeah. things have really changed out here yeah. um Chris Lee, thanks for coming by, man. Thank you, man. I had a fucking blast. I love coming back. I've been wanting to come back, so I'm happy. Really? Yeah. I'm so oh, grateful yeah. that you did, man. Yeah. Um, will you ever have other guests besides your brother on your podcast? I don't know. I only have my brother one time. But if I do, yeah, you're first in line there. Yeah, and I got in the YouTube live chat on that and was fucking oh, you did? ripping him up. Oh, I yeah. think I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. I just called him Salvador Dali like 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> Some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that was pretty cool though was it fun having your brother on yeah he's dope yeah it's cool he's gonna start a podcast oh he actually started it he's just banking the episodes and release them he's got he's his podcast is gonna be fucking awesome I, really i don't know what if you would want me to talk about it or not but it's fucking awesome he's got awesome guests hmm. yeah it's cool i can't wait to fucking hear it have there been um has anybody reached out yet about you being a superhero like for because I know this is gonna happen for you. Like I believe. Like I'm not joking about that. Like I know that you're going to be like some sort of a superhero. I don't know what the yeah. the world will be yeah. in, or if it, you could. I mean, you could even probably create your own universe of superheroes. Mm, I think that would be very cool. Yeah, I would love to do that. Because you could, could, do, could that. do that. I, I uh, yeah, no, I haven't been reached out for any superhero yet. But Zachary Levi DM'd me the other day, so we're getting close. Wow, that's all it takes, man. Yeah. yeah. All it takes, bro. Um, all right, Chris Delia, thank you so much for being here, man. Thank you. Now I'm just floating on the breeze And I feel I'm falling like these leaves I must be cornerstone Oh, but when I reach that ground I'll share this piece of mind I found I can feel it in my bones But it's gonna take a little time for me to set that parking brake and let myself all wild shine.